In this demonstration, we're going to see how to extend CA Release Automation Continuous Delivery Edition so that it can communicate with other products. You'll notice that we're logging in as the super user, which will give us administrative rights. The default screen that you'll see in CA Release Automation Continuous Delivery Edition is this releases screen, but what we need to do is to go and look under administration at several different features here. The first will be plugins. Plugins are what makes it possible to communicate with other programs. You'll notice here that out of the box you have three different plugins. The first one is for CA Release Automation. That allows us to access the various applications and environments that are defined in Release Automation and then ultimately it allows us to use tasks that run deployments there. The second is for what is called here the Rally Platform, which actually is a link to what is called CA Agile Central, so that we can import information like user stories and defects and that sort of thing and link them to our releases. The third is a REST API, that which allows us to make RESTful methods calls to whatever program has a RESTful API. In this case, we're going to be looking specifically at the release automation integration. And as I said, these are out-of-the-box capabilities that you'll have. Now let's switch, because just because we have this extended capability for release automation, it doesn't automatically know where release automation is. In other words, we need to teach it where to go find release automation so that we can link to it. That is in what's called an endpoint. And I've already configured a couple of endpoints here. The, the first one that I've configured, you'll notice it says we have an RA instance on a server called VM11Wins. So that's the way that I'm going to be linking to release automation applications and environments. The second one that I set up here is for linking to RA for other purposes. In other words, if I need to make RESTful calls about needing information about a release or about an application or something like that, then this link, this endpoint will give me the, the ability to do that. So I've got two endpoints there for those purposes. Now, now that I've done that, I actually want to be able to import the various release automation applications and related environments into this solution so that we can have access to them. Now we do that based on this third setting here, applications and environments. Now I can do two things in this section. One is I may have applications that I want represented here, but I don't have them built as release automation applications. So I can set up what is here called a local application. And you'll notice here that I've got one here called employee services. That's a system that we have that I want to track what's going on with releases related to employee services, but I don't have that built in uh, release automation. So I can represent here the task and so forth that we're going to have to do. It's just that we'll only be able to automate them so much. And so I have that. And you'll notice here that I've even been able to describe the different environments. I, I've described here uh, a development environment, a user acceptance testing environment, and a production environment for that. The rest of the entries that you see here, what I did was I created a link to this external application, uh, specifically release automation, and created that link to that server that I mentioned, VM11Wins. And so this actually established the link. And once that was done, it imported then the various applications that are defined in CA Release Automation and the relevant environments that are connected to them. So that now I can begin creating releases and even running deployments based on these apps and into these environments based on the deployment plans and so forth that are set up 
there in release automation. So this is what enables me to build releases then for the various applications that we want to be doing pipeline management for.